morning, church family, and welcome to this ep daily episode of Cadence. O Lord, let our souls rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Friends, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. Psalm 18, verses 1 to 3 and 18 to 20. Listen carefully, for this is God's word. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust. My shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. Proverbs 3. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will be bursting with wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be weary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves, as a father, the son in whom he delights. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom, and the one who gets understanding. For the gain from her is better than gain from silver, and her profit better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who laid hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely and your foot will not stumble. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the ruin of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Do not plan evil against your neighbor who dwells trustingly beside you. Do not contend with a man for no reason, for he has done no harm to you. Do not envy a man of violence and do not choose any of his ways, for the devious person is an abomination to the Lord, but the upright are in his confidence. 
The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the dwelling of the righteous. Toward the scorners he is scornful, but to the humble he gives favor. The wise will inherit honor, but fools get the disgrace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 20th century Presbyterian theologian and writer Frederick Buechner has written, The grace of God means something like, Here is your life. You might never have been, but you are because the party wouldn't have been complete without you. Here is the world. Beautiful and terrible things will happen. Don't be afraid. I am with you. Nothing can ever separate us. It's for you I created the universe. I love you. There's only one catch. Like any other gift, the gift of grace can be yours only if you'll reach out and take it. Maybe being able to reach out and take it is a gift too. Friends, will you join me in prayer? Almighty God, we do thank you for this day and for yet another opportunity to serve you, to worship you, and Lord, to experience you. God, as we live this day, we pray that you would be with us. That, Father God, that as you founded the earth with wisdom, that, Lord, that we would found our lives upon your wisdom. Lord, may we experience and embrace your steadfast love and faithfulness. Help us to trust you with all of our heart. Heal those places in our lives, Lord, that are sore and broken. God, give us your eyes. Give us your wisdom that we might live the life that you promise. May we, Lord, be always filled with assurance of your presence in our lives. Help us to serve one another. Help us, Lord, to pursue the good in this world. Help us, Lord, to inspire one another and to stir one another up to do good. Lord God, only you can do these things in our lives. And we pray that you would give us that strength. Lord, we ask all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. And now, Lord, we pray for strength and trust in times of trouble. Equip us to be your hands and feet in the world. May we bring good news to all we meet this day with our words and with our lives. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing, at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into his presence. Amen.